Okay. Here we are. We are ready. We're sitting a little bit closer than I want to be. We have a bowl. <laughs> we have a bowl of popcorn in between our draft notes. So Adam can't cheat and look at mine. I've also got my glass of wine. I hope you all have a snack of some sort. Adam's going with the upper and the downer. So I was up early this morning. <laughs> so this is going to keep me awake and this is going to help me enjoy the night. That's how I'm rolling right now. Coffee, wine. Here we go. Um, as I said, we're sitting a little closer than we would like. Um, I'll have you know, Adam was studying for the past several days. So what I realized was that I'm at a severe disadvantage because my memory's not anywhere near Sarah's and she's watched it twice and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And the second thing is, is that we really didn't see that many plays from people. Like I'm used to looking at a severe amount of data here. And no excuses. Missing. Do you see what but he's I'm ready. doing? I'm ready. I'm ready. Do you see what he's doing here? He's making excuses already because he knows I'm going to win. Um, okay. I am just going to throw this out here. Remember, let's be nice unless you're me and Adam and we can be mean to each other, <laughs> but let's be nice to each other. Remember, Adam has not seen past season one. So let's be mindful about no spoilers, please. Um, you guys are usually really good about that, but like, let's just remember he's only seen up, to, uh, through season one. So we've been so excited about this for so long. And honestly, I cannot believe how many people decided to join us today. <laughs> this, is, this is wild. Like, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit. Yes. Okay. Jamie. Oh, yes. We are all about the team right now. So thank you very much. That is right. Um, Okay. Hold on. Can I, should I show my notes? It's going to be embarrassing. Go for it. So I don't, I don't know if any of you have, have seen this, but this is, this is my remarkable. This is what I do all my coaching notes on. I love this thing. And so we've got a list of all the players. The glare is there. They oh, can't even. Well, I don't want anyone to read it. There's going to be no spoilers. I just read all of but it. My players are here. All the positions. I've got all of their stats for all of the players, what year they're in. Nobody can see it. What it's height better. they are. I'm, I'm just showing. I just, I Take his word. Work. Take his word for it. Azelis, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I just saw your super chat. You guys are amazing. Um, okay. So there's a couple things before we get started. I wanted to first explain how this will work. So what we're going to do, we are going to do... We're going to flip a coin to see who goes first. Then we're going to do a snake draft. So that means that whoever goes first, the next person. I love that you're explaining this. And two weeks ago, you didn't know what it was. Well, I got a lot of notes and help from the viewers. Thank you very much. And thank you for the tips. I hope they work. Um, so, yeah, we're doing a snake. If you need an explanation, I know it's probably being said in the comments what that is. So phase one, we're going straight skill. We do not care about anything but the strength of the players. So we are going to be drafting starting six and a libero. Okay, so we're drafting seven players. We might throw in who our honorary coach is going to be, but that, you know, is bonus. Um, round two, we will take into account what we think or try to draft the most cohesive team possible. So not only are we going to take into account skills, we're going to take into account personality, you know, energy, things like that to create a holistic atmosphere on the court. Um, and then to finish it off, Adam is going to go through who his season one all-star team will be. And we're going to compare it to who I picked on my first watch through. Um, I'm just going to say, like, I feel more nervous right now for this than I do for like legitimate volleyball matches. Where I'm preparing. I don't know. Oh, why. I've been agonizing over this forever. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am mostly relying on my like love of the characters and just like savantness memory. My savantness. <laughs> Adam was legit studying the manga, the you name it. And oh, I'm like, wrong. I just I know them. 
Okay, so I'm just, you know, anyways. So that's how this is gonna work. Um, next, okay, we put together a, okay, I'll show you. <laughs> this is the board we created. I spent a lot of time on this, so save your snarky comments about how homemade it is <laughs> because I really tried. Okay, yes, it's on a, like a milk carton. Um, we are not in our normal setup, so this was yes. we we spent a decent amount of time trying to figure out how to get this to work. We are not at our home right now. We're at my parents' home, so we have made our setup as good as possible. So as you can see, we've each got an outline of a court. Um, and then Adam has his, I have mine. And then we separated the players. I hope you can see their headshots. So we've got the setters, um, middles, liberos, and then outsides. We included players that we feel we legitimately saw play in season one. Um, so that's why, you know, even though there was the battle of the garbage dump with Nakoma, we didn't. They didn't focus much on many of the Nakoma players, so not all of them are included. So that's why we have who we have up there. I was a little iffy on including Yaku or not, because like he doesn't play a big role in season one. But you know, I said, you know what? Let's throw another libero in the mix. So yes, hopefully you can see their faces. I'm sure we're getting comments saying, I can't. Okay. Um, <laughs> I really hope you can see them. Uh, yes, I got their headshots. I laminated them. Okay, we are using these guys every season now. I, I will say I was doing my draft prep and I looked up literally every person we saw in season one and I had notes on all of them only to find out that she laminated like two thirds of the roster. Put me to work. I see. There has, been, there has been trickery leading into this draft. I see. I see you, girl. Thank you. And yes, it is going to be a bloodbath. And you know whose blood it's going to be? Adams. Okay. Um, <laughs> and Heather, thank you. Thank you so much for your love with the board. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do an announcement since I have you here. Um, we... I, but Adam's jumping in every now and then because because we're a team. Um, we moved our channel memberships over to Patreon. So there are still channel memberships at uh, on here if you like the badges and the emojis, but if you like early access and member uh, live streams and things like that and integrating my anime channel, we're watching Demon Slayer right now. We recently launched Patreon. So if you want to be a member of the community, in a deeper capacity, amazing. And if not, I love you anyways, and nothing is going to change for you. So I felt like that was a great time to say that. But the last announcement I'm going to make. And we think this one's a great one. Before we get started. Is you better take some notes, everybody. I'm not going to tell you exactly why, but let's just say they may come in handy soon. So take a note of the players that are on the board because... I didn't realize we were doing a cliffhanger. Oh, do you want to want to do a cliffhanger? No, I'm fine with it. Okay. Oh, well, should we say it? Okay, anyways. So over on Patreon, we do member live streams. And so we were thinking of, for our member live stream that's coming up soon, doing, bringing one of you, one of our members into the draft to go against us. Um, so if you're interested, take those notes because you could go head to head with us in a couple weeks. Only each each of us. So it'll be, I'll draft, Sarah will draft, and one of you will draft, and we'll do a, a three-person draft. Yeah, there's enough players on the board to make that happen. So I'm just saying, think about it. Okay. Um, Azella, is you're from Brampton? Yeah. We're in Kitchener right now, okay? <laughs> Just up the 401. And you're probably the only person who might know where Kitchener is. Exactly. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna just call you Kenma, Kenma. Good morning. Welcome from Japan. Okay, let's do this. Do I need to get a coin? Do you have your coin? I don't, but I can get one. I think we should flip it to me. I'm just gonna say, I'm going to be stumped if I have to go second. So I really, really hope I'm going to go first. <laughs> and Adam, please don't look at my notes, okay? I don't need to look at your notes. Okay, heads or tails. I've never flipped. I've flipped a coin. Have I flipped a coin? Give me tails. I'm going to catch it and then flip it on yeah. my hand. Yeah, yeah. Heads. Oh, yes. I'm going first. Well, I, I want to go second. I already know. You do? Doing. 100% I want to go second. See, I was having a mind game. If I had to go second, I didn't know what to do. So, well, no, if, I had, if I had won the toss, I was going to go second. I know who you're going to pick. Go ahead. Do you? Go ahead. Okay. Are you playing mind games with me right now? Because now I'm getting really nervous. Should I have gone second? Hold on. You, you Should I have gone second? So you already decided. <sighs> okay. Whatever. My first round draft picked pick Oikawa, baby. <sighs> I bet half of you expected that from me and the other half are probably just stumped and dumbfounded because you think I hate him so much. But let me, you, I respect his play, okay? As I said, at the end of season one, I think right now he is a better, don't give me that look. You're playing mind games, I don't like it. As of right now, he is a better overall player than Kageyama. I feel like picking that setter first is the make or break position, so I'm going for it. Excuse me while I make my mark. You're up. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> okay, so you get picks two and three. Okay. I am going to take Aoni with my first pick. I can hear your breath trembling. Oh. Explain or do you, or is it do you not explain because it's like secret? It's not necessarily secret. When I watched the show, I thought he was head and shoulders better than anybody else who was playing. Better than Oikawa? The middle, the middle from <laughs> from Delta Tech. That's what we're talking about here, right? The iron wall. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's better than everybody? Out of everybody in his position, he is he has the biggest difference in skill between the next the next best guy. He's he's the only guy who's six four. He towers above everybody else. He's an incredibly smart blocker in a league where it's tough to score. He I okay. he's a game changer. He's a game changer. Your next pick, pick three. I'm actually shocked at that pick, to be honest with you, but don't look at my paper. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm about to butcher this name. Oh, dear. Uh, Iwazumi. Adam. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh, you have his setter, don't you? Yeah, but Oikawa can set anybody because he knows exactly what ball they want. I don't like this already. <laughs> okay. I'm going to need a second to think here. <laughs> I did not expect this to happen. I've thrown her don't. plan right out the window. Okay, don't look. Are you I, looking? I don't need to look. 
I have planned for every contingency. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have the next two. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, everybody. Adam can entertain you while I think about this because I was not expecting that at all. I want to read the, I want to just see what I can see what I can see here. Um Uh, I don't like that laugh. Like, uh, I need a drink. <laughs> that's why we. That's why we got the drinks here. I mean, I think okay. I think it's a good strategy so far. I'm loving my team. I'm not feeling amazing. Okay. Do we have like a draft clock? Is yeah. There, okay. Uh, sorry. A, a, a um, limited amount of time. Uh, my next pick will be. <laughs> Asahi. And my pick after that. Is. Oh, baby. Wow. Okay. Adam, okay. can you just give me a second? <laughs> I've got a rattled, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, a rattled. little. Okay. Asahi and Kuro. Where's my man? There he is. Consulting the draft book. Asahi. Actually, he'll probably be the P1. Where's my guy? Kuro. Interesting. What can you explain? So I can get behind the Asahi pick. Yeah. I actually had him as my number two outside. Okay, yeah. He was my number two as well. You took, you know what I'm not gonna say. Um I feel like there aren't a lot of good <sighs> Asahi's ball handling isn't great, but I feel like on the outside you really need somebody to to get blocked by my iron be wall. Be terminal. Yeah. Um he's clearly shown that I don't need nothing to him anymore. Um so you need somebody who's terminal, and I feel like he is the next best option on the outside. Um I also feel like experience down the middle. Um, Kuro is able to run off tempos. Um, he's a really good blocker. So I wanted two solid athletes um, in two different positions because I don't want to be thin in one position. So that's why... I wanted to like get a, a solid outside and a solid middle. And let me just say, I'm playing the experience game on my side right now. Okay. Okay. Who you got? Yamaguchi's a middle blocker. Thank you for telling us that to Kate. Oh my gosh. Really? Does that change anything for you? I think I have Yamaguchi as a middle blocker on my list. Oh my gosh, I'm such an amateur. It's because Adam was reading encyclopedias and I was just like going off of love and heart. I think that's the difference. <laughs> okay. Your next two picks are who? It's a great question. Is there a draft clock here? Wow, I didn't even start looking at my list. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking at my board right now and it just looks great. Like very strong. Amazing. Hold on. I need to look at the Let's see you've got one here. I think he's gonna be left for me. Oh, 
All right. I'm going to go with Futakuchi from Date Tech as my second outside hitter. Okay. And? Um, and then I'm going to go with my boy Daichi on the opposite. Oh, this isn't even close. Don't worry about it. Udakuchi. Could, uh, could we get an explanation, please? So the other hit, the other outside hitters, we didn't see a ton of. I had a couple others who were kind of in the running for me. Um, I kind of want you to make your other outside pick, and then I'll elaborate. Mm, okay. Let me see. I need a middle, an opposite, and a left side. Okay. Oh, you guys, I thought I almost said something and then I was like, hmm, okay, so you took Daichi, so he's off the table. Hear me out. Just hear me out of what I'm about to do. Okay, so my next pick is Tanaka. Followed up by Kageyama as an opposite. Oh, I see how you're going to play this. Okay. Um, Kageyama doesn't want to break free. Okay, if you need me to elaborate, I will. Oof. Azella says that you have a good defensive team now. And Kenma Kenma, because that's what I'm calling you. We, yes, we have almost 800 people watching right now. I hope you're cheering for me. I can't believe <laughs> you actually did that. I didn't think you had it in you. Because I thought about doing that if I went first. That was heartless. When it all costs. That was heartless. So, my thoughts. When I look at the outsides that are left, we I had available to me Tanaka, Yamamoto, Ikajiri, <laughs> and Kunimi. Kunimi, eh, he's good for a couple points when nobody expects him to do anything, but like I don't think he's like that good. Ikajiri, also medium skill. Um, Tanaka and Yamamoto, I think, are similar. Um, I don't have the most amazing ball control team at the moment, <laughs> but I think... Kageyama in the opposite position, I personally prefer to Yamamoto because he brings more to the table. We Like him and Oikawa could swap out in the front row who's hitting. That adds another dimension. Um, honestly, seeing him hit, I think he's like good as an attacker. And I honestly think... Seeing him hit when? Oh, Adam. 
like as many times as you saw Fudakuchi hit. <laughs> so anyways, that's that. <laughs> I'm annoyed. You're annoyed because I'm winning. Well, I still don't think you're winning. Have you had any popcorn? Yeah, it gets stuck in my teeth, and then I am seen <laughs> picking my teeth on camera. Uh, that's all right. We're still going to be okay here. We're staring at our board into the screen, by yeah. the way. We're not just like... So what do I need now? I need another middle and a setter. So I'm going to go with... Uh, in Woka. Okay. As my second middle. Okay. Um, I know he's young, but he's big, and he was the only person who could figure out how to block Hinata, which shows a super high level of intelligence, and I think that that's super important in a middle blocker. So he's just as big as everybody else. He may be less experienced which I had to think about, but he adjusted really well on the fly. Um, mm. And I, I I thought he did a really good job in kind of an unknown situation. So you've got Inwoka in the middle? Yeah. And then... I'm killing this, by the way. You're not. Um, I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm going to go with Watari as my libero. Adam. What? Are you trying to... No, hear me out. So I don't get a set... I don't get one of the two best setters now. And Watari... So you'll... Okay. Watari had really good ball control. I'm going to have to pick Kenma as a setter for my last pick. He doesn't move particularly well, so the passes need to be on point. Plus, Watari was a setter in his junior school. Oh, my gosh. You remember that? Yes. So now I have an out-of-system option. Oh. Fair. Fair. I love Noya. I, I, but I think, mm. I think Noya's better defensively. I think Watari's a better passer, and I have the setting option. I think with this team construction, he's a better fit. Wow. Okay. So. So we know who you're gonna pick. Honestly, though, Yaku is solid. But, like, I feel like he was kind of, like, the wild card to include for season one anyways because we didn't really see his skills. So I'm, like, like, I don't know. I feel like I need to pick Noya just because we saw him. Like, Yaku, we, he didn't really play. So for my libero, I'll pick Noya. And then for my last middle... Honestly, I'm deciding between Kendaichi and Tsukushima. Um, I feel like uh, they're similar. I feel like Suki hasn't really come into his own yet. We can have seen him start to come into his own there at the end of the Seijo match. But and I feel like Oikawa could bring out some great things in him. But Kendaichi has that experience. I would say all things being equal between the two at the moment, what we've seen in season one, I will go with. Oh, I'll go with Kendaichi. And lock me up with Kenma. Okay. The genius. Hema. Come here, buddy. Hema. Noya. And 
Okay. I will say props to you for being absolutely ruthless. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm proud of you. Do you not know me? I do know you, but I didn't I didn't think you would stoop to a 6-2 just to screw me. It wasn't just to screw you. I swear it wasn't just to screw you. It was because I didn't feel like I had better options. And let's be real, I I waited long enough. Like I gave you chances to take him and you just didn't. Yeah, I didn't think you would do it. Well, okay, guys, I'm gonna write this down. Um, I'm gonna post these so you guys can vote on who wins, but we've got are we gonna have a discussion about this? Yeah, you start it while I write everything down. Okay. So I will I mean obviously your setters are better. Yeah. I'm curious how you're <laughs> gonna use them. Like those two don't like each other. It's not Adam. Whoa, that is not a part of this at all. When you're voting, keep that in mind. This has nothing to do with relationships and personality. This is strictly skill based. Okay? okay, so who's your setter and who's hitting right side? We can run a six two. It doesn't matter. <sighs> so your setters, your setters are better. I'll give you that. I think. I think I have a. I think I think this team is incredibly hard to score on. Yours? My blockers are fantastic. Were massive. Were I mean, good luck. Good luck getting any points. We're a good, good passing team. Really good blocking team. I've got one of the best attackers on the outside. Iwazumi. And Iwazumi. Yeah, he is good. Kenma is a genius when it comes to strategy. We pass well enough that he's not going to have to move to set, which is when he's best. I love how you're just like making your own case right now. Don't worry. Okay, keep going. What what have I said that is not factual? You're like, yeah, yeah, your setters are fine. But look at all my players. No, Daichi is a solid individual, leads the team to victory. Um, I will say you made a lot of questionable choices. Oh, I think my roster construction is on point. <sighs> You know it's not, and I can hear the doubt in your voice. Okay. That's not true. My analysis. Your team for sure has better ball control than mine. <laughs> um, how, I forget. How important is that in volleyball? Noy is going to have to do a lot of the service responsibilities. Asahi and Tanaka, like, they're capable, definitely. But let's also keep in mind that I have very athletic setters. Um, very skilled setters. And if I need to, like, either one can set. So just remember that if either one of them is setting, you lose your right side attacker because they don't know who's setting. They'll both be going for the ball. That's why they call the ball. Um, <laughs> so I will also say that my Aunis was a solid pick for you in the middle, 100%. In Woka, questionable. Um, I agree that he is good. But he's not as good as my like I definitely have like two of the three top medals as well. In what in what capacity? Kuro can do everything. He's a really good blocker. He's a strong attacking middle. He can even attack from the back row. He can play defense. He doesn't need to be subbed out with the libero. Um, so he's an all-around player. Kendaichi, solid. Is he a standout at any one skill? No, but he is like solid. Um, Asahi and Tanaka, again, I'll, not the best at serve receive maybe, but they are point scorers. Um, your team, I'm also questioning your Futakuchi call here. <laughs> um, Do you want to know what my rationale behind that was? So there, there weren't a lot of, like a lot of, data to go on that so what i looked at was he was um I'm sorry i'm just looking at my notes um yes azella skill wise my team is really good personality wise it would be an absolute disaster which is why we're going to redo this with personality 
But Acucci, he's he's big. He has experience being an ace and scoring points. So I, I also have two quote unquote aces on my team who are used to carrying the load and scoring points. Well, we're going to leave it to you guys to decide. I wrote down our picks. I'm going to post them. So you will vote. But ultimately, we know that I won. Okay. Um, I disagree. Do we reverse the order or flip again for the other one? I need to rearrange the board. Okay. We can flip again. Yeah, you go. I want to I want to get a feel for some of these comments. Oh, I think the initial take is that I'm going to I'm going to crush you. Are you kidding me? I just, I don't, I don't, I don't think people see it the way that you see it. Is it, is it just, oh. This can't be true. All right. You want heads or tails? Tails. Well, yard sale. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't mix coffee and wine. Heads it is. Okay, are you going first or second? Um, I will go, I will go first on this one. Okay. Go for it. Okay. But hold on. We need to, we need to re, we need to be very clear about the parameters of this. So this draft is us taking everything into consideration personality, skill, how they would get along as teammates, right? Yeah, you're trying to put together the best cohesive team. So the, the premise was most skilled on the last one, most cohesive team on this one. Nate, Perkins, are you kidding? You think Inwoke is better than Kendaichi? Cheers, you... Nate. <sighs> are you guys saying that just because Adam picked him? <laughs> Come on, Nate. Nate, you know what? I will be honest. I was thinking about Tsukushima. I, the body of work just wasn't as big, and I was super impressed with Nwoka's ability to block Hinata. That was that was a big that was a big thing. You know me. what this is? A desperation move. He is pleading his case because he's unsure of himself. Everybody, listen to KT. As a reminder, this draft was a power version. It only looks at power and skill. I'm leaving it at that. I'm stressed. Okay, who are you picking? Ooh, what are we naming our teams? This literally Smash won't snow what we're naming our team. Is my least favorite thing ever. I I cannot come up with names to save my life. But I'll go with the iron wall because I love that. I have no idea, iron wall. I've got I've got two pieces, <laughs> two pieces of the iron wall plus all the other big boys in the league. Except for Kemba, who's a little small. Are you, make your first pick while I think of my name. Uh, I'm going to pick Waikawa. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll name my team the Fossils because they're all pretty old. <laughs> Um, okay, you're going with Oikawa. I'm gonna go with <sighs> Okay, I will take Kageyama as my first pick. This had me rolling. No mercy. Um, okay, Ryan, thanks for getting on board, my friend. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Remember, it's about power. When I post this, it's about power. 
I have the two most powerful people in the league. And my team is massive. Okay. So my first pick is going to be Kageyama. My second pick is going to be Iwazumi. What? <laughs> you did like the same thing. I'm pretty proud of that one. <laughs> Draft one. Thank you, KT. That is going to be, I'm writing that now, Adam's Iron Wall versus Sarah's Fossils. <laughs> I've got one, two, three third years. I mean, I got a couple of young ones, but I started out on the third year train, so I'm sticking with fossils. Um, well, I'm going to pick Aoni. Okay. And then... I'm going to pick Asahi. You and I, then you're going to pick Aoni and Asahi. You were reading my paper. I made a lot of personality notes. Thank you very much. Can you read those? How do I do this? Uh, what do we got? Ryan here. One thing I'm learning is that Sarah and Adam have very different philosophies on how teams should be built and players should be rated. What yeah. Was the second one? Uh, I don't know. No. Uh, Asahi. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. We generally disagree on things like that fairly regularly. <gasps> what? You don't think no, so? No, you guys. I was just going like straight OP. I do not care how they get along. Like, those players were so strong. I still think my team is great. I love my team. Wait, okay. The, the second line, the second sentence is what made... We are regularly baffled by each other's picks. Yes. <laughs> Nate, if you mean that Oikawa was the best pick for personality... He's a great... He, he is good at bringing out Hit what's best in his teammates. He is a good leader. He is a very strong slash difficult personality at times. Off the court. Moving on. Which doesn't matter in this. And personality doesn't matter in the first one. Okay. I still think I have a great team. <sighs> I'm just looking at my board. All right. I'm going. Hmm. You took a sahi, huh? Now he's going to be part of the iron wall. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm just like thinking about Kageyama. I'm like channeling him. You can also pick Hinata. Just have him out there. Actually. Ha ha. You're right. Oikawa is 2% less effective without Iwazumi. Maybe even 8%. How much less effective is <clears throat> Iwazumi without Oikawa? Not. <laughs> he finally doesn't have to. Never mind. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just like trying to think through, I'm channeling Kageyama trying to think of what would work here. I'm going to pick Kenma in your position. Stop it. Shh. Uh. I'm going to go with. Ooh, you 
you guys. This is so hard. This is so hard. Okay. I'm going to go with. Ani has made the bro house. When I went through my notes and just thought about it, he's in the house. He may be sitting on the couch by himself staring at people, but he's in the house. You guys, this is so hard. The personality part is really throwing me for a loop here. I'm going to go with Daichi. And... Uh... I'm going to go with Daichi and Tsukushima. Tsukushima and Kageyama do not like each other whatsoever. That's why Daichi's in the mix. Okay. Oh, I don't I don't know about that. I don't know about that one bit. All right, I need a middle and an outside. Daichi, Tsukushima. What do you got? Thank you, Cookie. You read my mind. This, that is why I did that, okay? Thank you for understanding me. What do you think? What do you think? I'm writing down our team teams as we go here. TikTok, Adam. Yeah. So I'm going to take. I'm going to take Kuro as my second middle. And I'm going to take Tanaka as my other outside. So the rationale behind that is um, Kuro's, he's a captain, he's a third year, he's got a ton of experience. I think that Oikawa is going to be able to get him the ball. He's, he's a great complement overall to that team, both from a leadership perspective and from a skill perspective. Um, and I, I like your Daichi pick. I think it's important for you. I think he brings a lot of the same qualities that Daichi has. Um, and, I disagree and a little, with you. And a little more skilled um, in the middle. So I like, I like, I think Aoni and Kuro are a really, excuse me, a really good one to punch up the middle. And then I need a little fire on my team. I need, I need somebody who's going to get in the opponent's face, who's going to be, fired up and i was debating between um yamamoto and tanaka but i just i saw tanaka step up and deal with adversity in those episodes where he was you know put under pressure he made some mistakes and he came back and he played really well after that he loves his teammates he's going to stand up for them and he's going to get the boys fired up I, I love that combo. I love that combo. I'm I'm worried for you with the Oikawa Kuro combo. I think both of them have big egos, and I think that there will be a clash there, personally. So I'm worried for you on that one. 
Like what you like. Good call on bringing the energy though, because that is going to be my next my next thing. Um. So I'm going to bring the energy with Noya. And so Noya is my first pick. And then my second pick will be. Hmm. Noya is my energy pick, and then I'm going to have to go with uh, Yamamoto. Two energy, two energy guys. Yamamoto, he is like more of a Tanaka role player type. I think. I don't think he's quite as good as Tanaka though. Just FYI. I think him and Kageyama could run into issues, but I think Iwazumi and Daichi are there. They're as strong leader foundation pieces, um, so that doesn't concern me so much. Okay. So my last two picks. Um, I think I'll pick Kunimi. 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 I mean, he plays with Oikawa. Um, they're they're lockstep. They made it to the finals. They know each other well. Um, I think that makes a ton of sense. And then. I like your pick for Noya. That was going to be my next one. So I will concede that to you. But I'll, I'll go again. I'll go with uh, Watari as my libero. And then my last pick as a middle. You have nobody left because I have all the good ones. You did take some good ones. But remember, this one is about more than skill. Um... I don't want to take Kendaichi because I think he just has such a chip on his shoulder with regard to Kageyama. Like it would take a while to break through that and develop that trust and stuff again. I, I know he's like starting to see it um, through the game that Seijo and Kirasuno played, but I'm just not sure. So I'm actually going to go with Hinata. Atari. Yeah. And uh, Kunimi. Oh dear. Come on. Okay. So I'm gonna go what? No, that's okay. Okay. Nate, are you referring to the power draft or the this current one? Because I don't know. Tristan, yes, we will definitely have to do a bro host love host showdown. Some of the players have overlap though. Um, this is also accurate. You definitely just picked all of your bro host guys. They're in the bro house because they're quality individuals. Yeah, but Adam, it's about more than quality individuals. You're really emphasizing the wrong things right now. It's about... Are you actually going to look at my team and tell me they're unskilled? <gasps> Come on. Come on. What <laughs> world are you living in? This is huge for me. Daichi calms the storm for any fights. He's the best non-libero defender on here. That's a solid pick. But I don't want to really read the rest of this. But Oikawa's pulling out the best of... Um, 
personality. No, it's not. That's not like the number one criteria. You it's know like, what? I also did think this as I was doing it. I was like, mm, this is very much Karasuno, but I'll go with it. And what happened to Karasuno? They lost. It's not about winning right away, Adam. It's about learning and growing. That is That was not part of the criteria. Okay, so points for my team. Um, Kageyama is difficult. He's a strong personality. He is difficult to deal with. So that's why I brought in Iwazumi and Daichi. Iwazumi, in my opinion, is the top attacker in season one, top left side. Wait, he um, wasn't he wasn't the top left side when he was on my team though. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say anything about him when he was on your team. Um he's skilled and also he has that relationship with Kageyama from middle school, and he like can see the kid that he is deep down. So I think having that like background really helps that relationship. Daichi, great ball control. He will be like patrolling the back row with Noya is also a really calming influence. And I feel like he knows Tsukushima and Kageyama well enough to kind of be able to calm any storms that happen. He not in Kageyama. There's nothing like putting out fires on the court while you're playing. That's good. Kageyama and Hinata just have that like connection that they have going on. Um, I think it's really special. And Yamamoto, Noi also will bring that energy. So I think we really have a good combination of, you know, energy, leadership, um, maybe some more quieter personalities in Tsukushima. Um, Iwazumi that, can that pick baffled me. You just keep bashing what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. give talk about yours. <coughs> I mean, clearly built around a really good setter who who has the reputation for setting people the balls they want, which I think is important. Auni was underused offensively in Dante Tech. Yeah, maybe because he can't hit. Or because he didn't have the opportunity to do so. Because we haven't, I don't even know what the setter's name from Dante Tech is. He probably doesn't even know what a quick is. Moniwa, he's on the board. Okay. You didn't pick him. So I think, and I think, quite frankly, Auni is, in my opinion, head and shoulders better than the next middle on the list. I think if I'm looking at the list of players, the gap between him and number two is the biggest in any position. Uh, I think he's a great player to build a team around. Who? Aoni. No, Adam, I'm sorry. You do not build teams around middle blockers. They only play half the match. No, I get it. No. I... Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you don't build teams around middles. Do you know what happens when middles can't close? That's when you notice them. Who are the highest paid players on teams? Point scorers. Yeah. Uh, Point scorers. Opposites. There are literally not very many good opposites. Swinging left here. sides. Left sides that can score points. Setters. You don't see middles being the focal point of but any team that's, that's built ever. That's fine, but they're fundamental to success. They're fundamental to that. success. So, I got... Ushijima is not included because... We only saw brief one-point highlights. We didn't really see him in true match play. That made it really tough for me to, like, get a feel for him yeah. at all. Um, I think I think I'm solid up the middle. I think I had the best setter. I think Asahi is going to light the league up when he's given balls that he can hit. Um, there's just a natural connection between – uh, Oyakawa and... You can't even say his name right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Furukuchi. You know you know my game plan? Say left side, right side. I don't Adam, care what people's names are. You didn't pick Furukuchi. What was, who did I pick then? Adam doesn't even know. No, I do. The opposite from... No. <laughs> Kuni me. That's what I meant. Sorry. Dud pick. Not a dud pick. Uh, my team is just better. I'm housing this popcorn, by the way. Just I'm stressed. Better. <laughs> it's just straight up better. Well, we'll see what everyone else thinks. Okay. I'm also going to put these picks in. I think it's fair that my team should be called Kage uh, Karasuno 
And then Adams is bro house supreme. That's fair. Because you guys basically nailed that in the comments already. So you're not wrong. Um, okay. Those are our two rounds. That was actually really fun. It Even was though a... you were way meaner than I thought you would be. Says the girl who took the two setters and left me hanging out to dry. Says the girl who did the exact point of the thing, which was draft the best players, and he's taking it personally. Okay. I need a wine refill. Wait. This is your time to shine. Your all-star team. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Okay, you guys. I wrote these down. I'm going to post both teams on the community board and you guys can vote. I will be very clear about whether it is like straight power skills or cohesiveness. Okay. So I've got everything written down. I'll post this to vote. Um, Adam. Who, it, who would be your all-star team if oh. you had to pick from season one? Okay. Where do you want me to start? On my list that nobody could read when I showed them. I'm reading Ryan's comment. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. The same could be said for mine. I, I can get behind this for the um the first draft the second draft i don't necessarily think that this is true i think how the team will function also plays a big part so i don't think this can be the sole focus for draft two in particular just gonna throw that out there okay all right so i think i think i have to pick um, just reading the name. <laughs> I think I have to pick Oikawa for the setter. Mm -hmm. I think I think that because Oikawa is in his second year or third year. Third year. Third year. I I think when Kagiyama is in his third year, he will be better than Oikawa is. But I think right now, Oikawa is just he's, stop he's stop better. it. Oikawa. Thank you. Oikawa that is A just is just really killing me. So he would be he would be my setter. Um, Aoni, I mean, hands down, I love the guy. I think he's amazing. He's making he's my top pick in the middle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I wonder if we'll end up with the same team. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was I was super impressed by Inwoka in that match and, and 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 that might be like a recency bias because we saw the matchup a little bit more and we saw how he made adjustments and i love a smart player who can make adjustments but i think for this one overall i would probably give it to kuro we love kuro so we love I, everything about I, Kuro. I think Inwoka will be better than Kuro in his third year. Like similar to the Kagiyama Oikawa situation. But That's I a think, bold statement. But I'm telling you, to come in in your first year and to have the presence of mind to make those adjustments and do those things, I, I, I'm super impressed with that. Um, so though, I think that that's who I would go with in the middle. Um, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Futakuchi? Now, what's the name of the setter you just picked? Oikawa. Oh, got it. <laughs> Listen, by the hundredth time, I can usually get things right. I'm so worked up the vein in my forehead is popping out. Okay, so let's go to hitters. This, this one's tough. Because we saw a lot of outside hitters. Um, Ryan, thanks. What, what did it say? Oh. Oh, I'm glad you're having you. fun. We're having a blast. This is great. We love this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I think I think that um, I think Iwazumi is 
is the best outside overall. I think it was also was now is the best. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm on I'm on board with that. <clears throat> Are you picking um, him? Yeah. the The next one for me. I'm just gonna jump in here and say that we're a hundred percent the same so far. And I I don't know what her list is. I no, like, he I has know. not seen any of my reaction videos when I did it. Did, did them wow, <laughs> did them solo. He does not know what my season one all star team was at all. But so far, he's four for four. Um, this this next one I think is the <laughs> is the hardest pick. Um. The, the second outside hitter is is tough. Mm. Um, I will I will thank you. Yes, we are family. Like that. Thank you very much. So anytime Adam compliments Alani, I'll be like, thanks. <laughs> I actually think. I think I probably have to go with Asahi for my number two. We're five for five, baby. Really? Yep. And and I'm not gonna lie, I was uh, I was not a big Asahi fan at the beginning because I I really disliked mm -hmm. a quitter. Like it you left... hated Suga too. You were critical. I I was only critical of how Suga handled one particular situation. I never disliked Suga. I just disagreed with how he went about one situation. Seeing Asahi's progression and where he was able to get to, I think by the end of the tournament, he was probably the second best outside. And and I think part of his struggle was that Kageyama didn't figure out how to set him well either. So I think that, uh, I think I think he would be my number two. But that was that was probably my hardest choice. What? Sometimes you just got to take extreme measures for the win. Okay. Um, I said what I said. I'm not proud of it. I hope he forgives me. So, do we only have two options to pick from? Technically, yes. The only ones that we really saw in season one were Daichi and Kunimi. I'm, I'm biased on this one. I don't think I can separate my feelings. I'm going to pick Daichi. Six for six. Really? Yeah. Who's your libero? I... I saw Noya play more, and I, I thought he had more of an impact on his team. I didn't get to see Watari play enough. Like you don't like he was there, but I'm. I'm Watari go or Yaku? Watari. Okay. I'm gonna go with Noya. Are we seven for seven? That's that's wild. Oh my gosh. I thought we would be close, to be honest. I did not think we would be seven for seven. Where did you think we would deviate? Mm, I thought maybe one of your left sides would be different, and I, do, I don't think that you have as much, like, Kuro passion as I do. No, I would say not as much passion, but I can... I can, <laughs> I can Absolutely not. <laughs> I can respect what he did. Dude... The exact same all-star team post-season one. He didn't know anything. Uh, wow. Okay. Also, this comment just makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, I love that. Love Cammy's mom. Hey, Cammy's mom. Oh, Nate says there's only one correct team. And we basically nailed it. I'm pretty sure I got criticized pretty hard for my season one team. People were writing that he not a train hard the whole time I watched it alone. 
But thank you. He did train hard, but he just started from such a deficit. No, riding the Hinata train. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he did train hard, though. Well, I, missed um, I missed the point of that statement. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam's coffee wine combo backfiring. Is it? Um. Okay. Any we have? I can't believe we finished season one. Um, OVA one Lev appears has already released as early access over on Patreon. What were your thoughts of season one? Yes, I liked it way more than I thought I would. You liked I, it way more than I thought you would. I thought we were taking a big gamble bringing you into the fold. Yeah, I definitely. I mean, you guys all know this. I. I thought it would be a cool way to hang out with Sarah and and do something, and I I did not intend to get as invested as I did. Um, we talk about high in our daily lives. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it, it's it's been a ton of fun, and I'm I'm incredibly impressed with the writing of the show, like how. I mean, real life it is in terms of the situations, the emotions it evoked, the, like, I watch a scene and I think of people I've played with. I think of situations yep. I've been in. I, like, it. it's uncanny. It's uncanny. Um, and, 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 again, having coached, having been a boy that age, having mm -hmm. coached kids that age, you know, seeing the progression, like all of it, incredible. Like it's it's incredibly well done. First thing that comes to mind: What do you think season two is gonna? What What do you think is gonna happen oh. in season two? Just first thing that comes to your mind. And you are right. The season two draft and all star team are gonna be insane. The number of characters that we're gonna have to pick from is gonna get seriously ugly <laughs> i mean i feel it's gonna be i'm gonna have to have like weeks of research um i feel like it's gonna be the next tournament okay um mm -hmm. so you mean like the spring tournament prelims correct okay um i feel like we'll probably get a different draw so we'll probably meet a bunch of different teams like, I'm assuming Karasuna won't be ranked the same because they actually did, like, decent in that tournament. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting to see, like, a few other teams. Um, my instinct is they're going to play Shiratoi Zawa to get into nationals. Okay. Um, and I haven't seen that team other than their one player looks like an absolute stud. So I feel like winning the coin flip in the next draft is going to be important, but um, yeah, that's kind of where, that's kind of what I'm assuming. Don't tell him if he's right or wrong. I do have strong feelings about this comment though. You know exactly what I think about Bokuto. That is it. I guess I'll find out. We will let Adam come to his own conclusions. Um, <clears throat> KT, the best. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, Ryan, you are so right. He said, or she, Ryan is a great name either way. Um, Haikyuu does so much with the characters and team dynamic and it's amazing. The volleyball is good enough to bring people to the actual sport. I cannot tell you the number of people who have been like, I watched Haikyuu and it got me into volleyball and now I play in an adult league or I joined a rec league. Like the power of this anime is like unmatched and I love that so much and like we are so excited that we get to share our love of volleyball with you guys and get to like talk about something that we are really passionate about, but it also opened the doors to us for like so much more anime. Like we were talking the other day, we're like obsessing over Demon Slayer and never in a million years did we think that that would happen. 
So wild. Yeah. The doors have been open for us too. So thank you guys for helping us do that. Um, I would say one of my favorite comments that I read on a YouTube channel this season was somebody's like, you guys are actually talking about this, like the real matches. And I was like, yes, obviously in our hearts, they are real matches. We are invested. Um, I haven't been holding this for like 10 seconds. Um, but thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hopefully you guys had fun. Wait, I thought I had to do my moments or are we out of time? Oh, Adam is not done. Well, you told me to put my moments together. Okay. Do you want to run through them? Sure. And they're going to be different from everybody else's because clearly I lose my mind at the wrong places. Um, okay. So a couple things that came to mind and I just thought about this quickly when Sarah asked me. And I just realized my sweater is the same color as the wall. No. My head was floating. Eli, get out of here with that. Okay? What, what is happening? You don't know. Wake Adam up with the straw bell. I will give him a literal heart attack if I ring that thing. Let me tell you, it got a little wild on me once in a plane, and people almost died. <laughs> I love that you know what that is. Um... Yeah, so favorite moments from season one. So the first one that popped to my mind was just kind of the Ukai storyline about how he got, like, dragged in and then how he kind of fell in love with the boys and he was going to be there for one practice and then he was going to be there for one match and then he's sitting there, like, watching video until all hours of the morning. Like, And, and I understand that part of that is, like, I can relate to that so much and it, it happens to me consistently like i'll run one practice with somebody and then i'll just keep watching their tournaments and seeing how they're doing so like that that piece really resonated with me on a personal level um so i love that hold on we are one of them can we officially say that we are one of one of us now i feel have like we I, graduated to that i feel like i still don't know enough like I feel like I know, but we have, but we talk about it off camera too. So I yeah, think that fair. has to count for something. Fair. So, thank you. I am glad that we are one of the group too now. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. Go. No, all good. Um, I think like Asahi's redemption story. Because I'm not gonna lie, like I did not. The fact that he quit on the team when things went poorly for him, like soured me in a legitimate way um and and you know what i came back and i love the dynamic with noya i love the confidence that he gained and i love the success at the end of of being in the same situation where you failed before and coming out the other side like that for me was was really cool to see um kagiyama's dump uh at mm. the beginning of the match against oikawa the dump to dump yeah <laughs> and just the like the stare down like i love everything about that i'm i'm all about it um obviously the food scene oh, is just like killer. Killer. it's a heart melter um so that and then the eyes open with hinata on that attack and just seeing the progression of the hard work and like like I, again as a coach you work so hard with your athletes to get, you know, those things to progress, to break habits. And, and it, it's so true. Like it happens once and you can just see the light bulb go off and everything clicks. And they're like, this is how it's supposed to be. And, and that moment, both for, for coach and for player are incredible. And I just, I loved everything about that. Those would be. And Shimada talking about coming in training for hours for one surf that's the thing that broke this man how did that not make your list well i mean i figured i figured it would come <laughs> up and i figured you're like i'm gonna leave this off because she's about to bring it up well and, and so the other thing is like takeda doesn't get enough love <gasps> he star he and it, it's really interesting so you know you're you're as an athlete your default is like i deserve all the physio everybody should help me i'm the one on the floor like it, it's very selfish it's me 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 and and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that because you're generally young you're trying to do something you're focused on being able to perform 
now that I'm on the other side of that and you see the administration of the sports and you see what goes in to prop up these athletes, it's those unsung heroes who grind to like put the team in the best place, who, who actually allow you to have success. And those people get no love. And seeing him and what he did to bring the team together to get matches, to find them a coach – to understand the game, his perception of people and how he manages that. He's we dive deep here. Yeah. We dive deep. Ooh, okay. Did you see that? Who's who are you picking? Hey Zeus wants to know who we picked as our coach. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, best... we can't pick the same one. This is no. a best of one or best of three? Best of three. Okay, one zero. Oh, oh baby. I'll have you know that I never win rock paper scissors. I beat scissors him at rock though. paper scissors literally. I think I'm like 95% wins. I will have you know that I know none of the coaches' names except for Ukai. I'm going to pick Nekamata. Is that the Sejo coach? Uh Nakoma. Nakoma. That's I think pick. like, yeah, the experience, he's able to see deeper than surface level. Um he can see how the puzzle pieces kind of fit together. He's just like, don't get me wrong. I love Ukai. I love him. But I just think like Ukai with a little bit more experience, hands down. But I think right now my pick is Nekamata. That's fair. I mean, that's what that's what it would have come down to for me too. And, and it's, again, it's kind of the old school versus the new school. Um, I'll pick Ukai uh, just because. But I'm writing this down too. Like the the passion the commitment the grind you know the cigarettes behind the store as he's thinking about who he's gonna play well like, and he's like yeah he's getting up at 4 a.m to go work yeah, in the garden i have i have so much appreciation for the grind and and what it takes to do that so that would be i think even if i had a first choice i would ooh, <laughs> i was about to pass out i think even if i had a first choice i would i would go with ukai just for just for that reason like again it just he just resonates with me i just get it he's a great guy Ryan, favorite moment is the dinner. That, okay, your second sentence, that is why winners and losers is like life changing for me. That episode, I tweeted about it once and I was like, agree with me. Do you agree with me? Season one, episode 16 is one of the top five episodes of Haiku ever. And a lot of people agreed for that reason. It's just like, oh, you just like feel it. And you just like to see the humanity, you know? Do you, um, do you think you have to have experienced something like that to appreciate it? Or do you think that those emotions are like universal? Maybe you're right. But Ryan's know. talking like they are on a team. And have had experiences like that. I agree with that. So that's why I kind of said yeah, that. But like yeah. um, the restaurant scene killed me. Um, but winners and losers for me will always go down as like the standard in yeah. season one. Um, anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. I think I'm good. I love that's... doing these, you guys. So yeah. if you guys have ideas for more live streams that you want to do as the whole group, hit me up. Um, you know we read the comments. And Adam is a comment patroller. Um, he loves it. I do, actually. Honestly, I love it, too. But Adam gets the, to them first and then just tells me what everybody says. So It's because I'm not on social media. Um, true. That's my... True. You guys. That's my Insta scroll. Yeah. Is our YouTube comments. So hit us up if you if you enjoyed this and you want to do something again. We we love doing live streams and doing things like this. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our draft. Um, you know we're gonna do this every season. This will be our season ending like wrap up every season. Um, I think it stayed like relatively. I had fun. Calm. Adam got a little mean for Adam. I was just normal. Uh, <laughs> but like, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, we, we love you guys. Like, honestly, 
sharing our love of volleyball and our love of anime with you is like, it's something that it's one of my favorite things. Um, so spitball, everybody who love you. stayed up till crazy hours to join us. Thank you. Everybody, yes. everybody, thank you. We but... kind of, we tried to do this to hit a lot of time zones. Europe, you lost out this time. I'm so sorry, like middle of the night, but for the Europeans who stayed up and I know there are some of you out there. I know Cookie is in Europe. Thank you for being here. Um, and yeah, sharing your Friday night with us. We love you guys and stay tuned because season two is coming really soon. Bye. <laughs>